In this chapter, we'll look at the program PowerPoint made by Microsoft. It's available to buy or to use for free online, and you can find out all about it at Microsoft.com. PowerPoint is a great, versatile and easy to use program for making professional presentations and is used by most companies across any field from design to finance. Over the next lessons, you'll learn the key features you need to master to make a beautiful mood board, portfolio, or present a project or collection. In this first lesson, we'll explore how to create a file, create, manipulate, and adding effects to shapes, and how to use the pen tool. We'll start by opening the program and selecting a blank presentation. And this page with a single slide appears. You can also create a new document by going up to File and select New Presentation. The pages in PowerPoint are called Slides, and this document appeared with two default text boxes. By clicking with the mouse inside them, you can type in your text. To select the boxes, we click on them with the mouse. And to deselect them, we click outside. We can create new slides, either blank or set up with a variety of different default layouts by clicking on the New Slide button and selecting the layouts you need. As you select them, they're added under the first slide to the left. To remove slides, we click on them and press the Delete button. The first thing to do before starting to make your presentation is to save the document by going up to File and Save As, giving it the name you want and leaving the PowerPoint format. It's really easy to reorder your slides. Just click on the one you want and move and drag it into the position you want. You can also move several slides at the same time. You can also give the slides the dimensions you want by going up to File, scroll down to Page Setup, and either select the standard dimensions or give your own specific custom measurements. And confirm by clicking OK and Scale. And go up to Shapes, where you'll find lots of different shapes to use and modify. We'll begin by selecting a square with straight corners. Place it on the slide by clicking where we want it to start and drag it until it covers the whole page. Then we go up to Shape Fill to try some different fill options. To change the color, just click on any of the little color boxes. Or remove it by clicking on the No Fill button. With the button to the right, we can set or remove the line color. Here you can also modify the thickness and design of the line. or remove it by selecting No Outline. To design our second slide, we select it and head over to Shapes. We'll begin by selecting a circle. And to place it on the slide, we click on it once and drag it into the size we want. To unselect any shape, text box or image in PowerPoint, you just click outside of it. To make a completely round circle, we click and drag it by pressing the Shift key, which blocks the proportions. Then we pick a square with an outline. To modify the thickness of the line, we click on the yellow square and drag it towards the inside or the outside. 
We can also tweak the points of a shape by selecting it. Go to Edit Shape and select Edit Points. Then we modify it by dragging and pulling the points or handles. To change the color, we go up to Shape Fill and select the ones we want. Then we change the outline color and thickness with the Shape Outline tool, which you can also find in this position. Now we select one of the star shapes. To make it elongated, we click and drag it with the mouse on the slide. If you want to keep the proportions, you need to click and drag while pressing the Shift key. You can also modify the look by pulling on the yellow square to make it thinner or chubbier. To move shapes around, just click and drag them around. This goes for any element that you import into the program. This program also offers a lot of other great ways to modify shapes. And to access them, we select the shape we want to tweak, right-click with the mouse and select Size and Position. At the far right, an area called Format Shape appeared, so we head over there and click on the Paint bucket and then we click on the white dot next to Transparency. By dragging the dot, we make the star more or less transparent. To create a gradient color, we select Gradient Fill, and a blue default color appears. To change the effect, we click on the little swatches, drag and drop the ones we don't want, and change the color by first clicking on a swatch, and then on the Paint bucket, where we select a different color. We leave the second color as white, but drag up the transparency to 100%. Now our star is yellow and opaque at the bottom, and transparent on top. With this technique, you can tweak and modify any of the shapes into any color, transparency or opacity you want. There are also plenty of arrow shapes to choose from. To change a shape, it needs to be selected. Then we click on Edit Shape and Change Shape to select a new one. Then we easily change the dimensions by dragging the bounding box. Also, the outline shapes can be resized the same way, and you see that the lines keep the proportions. To rotate shapes, you click on the circled arrow and drag it with the mouse. Now we add a shadow to the arrow by selecting it, pressing on the symbol next to the paint bucket, and click on Shadow. Then we click on the button with the white square and select the type of shadow we want. And here you have many different options to choose from. We'll begin with an outer shadow. Here we can tweak the transparency, size, blur, angle, and distance. For the outline rectangle, we'll select a perspective shadow. And you see how the look changes by changing the parameters. You can also fill your shapes with different patterns. To move an object on top of another, we select it, go to Arrange, and select Bring to Front. To move it to the back, we need to select Send to Back. In the Arrange tab, you can also align your shapes on the slide. Now, let's explore how to use the pen tools. 
To find the pens, we click on Draw to open the draw window. Here we have several different pens to choose from. To select one, you just click on it. With the gray circles on top, you can set the size of the stroke. And below, you set the colors. To draw on the page, you just need to click and drag on the slide. These tools let you draw, design, and write anything you want. There are also several eraser tools that let you modify your strokes. The stroke eraser will delete the entire stroke by clicking on it. The small eraser removes the part you want by clicking and dragging over them with a the mouse. The medium eraser is bigger, with a similar effect. While the segment eraser removes sections and segments. The second pen has a cool crayon effect. To create other personalized colors, we click on More Colors and drag the white rectangle. You can also change the color completely by moving the crossed circle inside the color wheel. The third pen is a flat highlighter. To deactivate the pen tool, we click once on the draw button. You can modify your pen strokes in the Shape Outline tab in the Home window. The fourth pen is a round marker. And the fifth pen is another flat marker. When drawing a continuous line with the flat markers, the color is opaque, while if you draw different strokes that overlap, you get a nice, overlapping transparency effect.